I'm Mike Steffen, founder and lead inventor at Cage Innovation. And this is my son, Kyler. Behind me, you see the brand new Snowstorm Blast mounted to a 5125M series John Deere tractor with our brand new universal under hitch system. In order to get any three point attachment attached to the front of one of these tractors, you'll need a under hitch or some sort of a three point carrier on the front. Here's your standard top link. It just goes into the pin up here and your lower lift arms with these latches at the bottom. And those just go into the bottom pins of your three point attachment and this all comes right off. Moving back here, we've got three and a half inch bore tie rod lift cylinders with a lift capacity about 12,100 pounds at this point here. Even further back, we've got our rock shaft pin. This is one and three quarter inch, 1045 grade steel. <clears throat> and all of this is bolted up to the tractor using only four attachment points. So it's very universal. We're gonna be making two different series. One is the 12 series and one is the eight series. 12 stands for about 12 feet from the bumper of the tractor to the drawbar pin. Eight feet would be for smaller tractors, the same measurement from the bumper to the drawbar pin. So the first point of attachment is right at the bumper. <clears throat> you have a height adjustment at standard and you can move that up and down about eight inches for whatever tractor you need. And you can even flip your bumper mount to have it another eight inches up or down. Moving back further, We've got our stabilizer bars. We've got one on each side. They're fully adjustable turnbuckles. So the idea is that you're not rocking your under hitch system when you've got the pusher attached to it. Moving to the rear of the tractor, we attach to the drawbar. Every tractor has a bumper and a drawbar, so it's a very universal system. <clears throat> we can also slide this adjustment back and forth on the rear uh, where we hook up to the drawbar. And there's also a lateral adjustment on the front where the front mount comes up to the bumper. We use a threaded rod adjustment here to make sure that there's no slop in the drawbar to bumper hitch positioning so we don't get a lot of banging and egging of holes. Our universal under hitch system will come with the hoses needed to run three auxiliaries on the front. One auxiliary is used to lift the lift arms and the other two are to run the plow. Now in this case, we've got the snowstorm blast. There are no other hydraulics required, but we've got that option for if we wanted to run other attachments. This particular tractor, we're utilizing one auxiliary from the rear and two from the mid. Down here, you can see the other two auxiliaries that we've tied and run up front. Some tractors are equipped with three auxiliaries in the mid, and that's real handy because then you can use your joystick, and we'll cover that in a little bit. Here you can see, this is a standard feature of the under hitch system. It's equipped with all the banks of hydraulics that you need to run two auxiliaries on your plow. So for example, the top two might be used for your angle and the bottom two might be used for your box clamps or your wing apparatus. And moving back, we've got our fully greasable one and three quarter inch, 1045 grade steel pin. There's one greaser here and that greases the entire pin. It's important to note that we do have our loader arms still installed on this tractor, so you're not required to take those off. Here we've got the wheel turned all the way so you don't lose any of your turning radius with the under hitch system installed. Another important thing is that this is going up to 29 inches off the ground. <clears throat> so that allows you to really use that tractor as you come up into that pile to push the snow up and stack incredibly high. Um, Kyler, let's show how much down pressure we have as well. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our tires right off the ground, impressive down pressure. So not only does that allow us to really cut and scrape if we want, but we can follow dips and, and contours in the surface as well. Moving over to the side of the tractor, another question will be, how much ground clearance do we have? Well, we've got 12 and a half inches under the belly of the tractor ground clearance. So that's quite impressive. 
and the under hitch system will eventually offer a PTO option to run your PTO shaft from the rear of the tractor all the way up to the front for snow blowers or mowing applications. Let's take the snow blast off of this now and show you the under hitch all by itself on the tractor for those of you that are curious about running other attachments on the front. Here we've got everything detached from the front of the under hitch system. These are category two three point lift arms. You've got your top link stowed in the center here. Note you also have multiple height adjustments for your top link and this allows you to adjust the amount of pitch that your attachment has as it goes up and down and the lift height. These bottom latches are spring loaded, so they're easy to ass the assist in your latching process. So you go and you hook up to your attachment, your pin drops in, and then it immediately latches after. And this pin then goes in to secure the latch. So now on the front of your tractor, you have a category two three point hitch that can carry any number of category two three point implements. And later on, we'll introduce the PTO option that'll have the snowblowers and the powered attachments capabilities.